So today I'm going to be looking at some products that I bought from Blick today. So what I have here are a few different things. Um, first off, I just want to show these really, really cool little artist trading cards. Um, these are watercolor ones. So I plan on making little business cards with these, just putting little paintings on them and then maybe my information handwritten on the back. So I thought these were adorable. Um, they're pre-cut and like the cuts are extremely precise really really nice um, they are cold pressed so they have a lot of texture on them which I'm not a fan of but since I'm not scanning these in or anything they're just specifically for uh, promotion not too worried about it so this is one of the first things I picked up at Blick today and they were on sale for $1.98 a piece but I'm sure that they're no more than like three dollars a pack um, another thing that I picked up that I thought was really, really cool was this acrylic paper, okay? So I've had this brand before and this exact same pad, but um, I believe it was like a 12 by 12, a, just a bigger square. So this paper is like a synthetic blend that uh, you can use acrylic on. It's extremely, extremely textured, just kind of like um, canvas canvas paper or um, not I don't know want to say like a canvas pad but almost like canvas paper it's pretty tough when I asked for some advice at Blick about this the young lady there told me that um, she would gesso both sides of this to keep it extremely stable because what I found was when I was actually using the larger pad I didn't gesso it or prime it, it doesn't come primed at all it would buckle after a couple of layers so I'm definitely going to be experimenting with this and I have a bottle of gesso so I'll just take out one of them gesso them and see how it goes so this was really cool I bought this size because I wanted to be able to easily scan this in for um to do small mini prints or make some cell phone cases on society six so I thought this was a really really good size for smaller stuff um another paper product that I picked up today was some really nice hot press water paper, watercolor paper. So I bought this because I need to be able to scan my water, watercolor designs in. I have a very small domestic printer so I can't really do anything comfortably past an 8x10. So they sold this in a 7x10. It's extremely, extremely smooth. I've never gotten to really use true uh, hot press paper. I've also never spent this much. I believe this was $20 for 15 sheets and it's a block so they're glued down on each side and this is really nice. So um, what it says on the front is that the paper is smooth and silky. Water permeates this paper slowly allowing time for fine details and subtle color gradations or gradations. Pigments, uh, what does that say? Oh, t pigments tint bright and radiant and innovative custom-made paper to fulfill the needs of watercolor artists. This is Stonehenge Aqua Hot Press. So I'm really excited to try this out. The packaging is really nice. Those colors are really, really cool. So I'm excited to try that out. And then I also picked up this Blick Studio uh, canvas pad, which was I, I thought was pretty interesting. This is actual real canvas paper. So cotton paper, let's see, it says woven in India, printed in, primed in Cambodia, assembled in China. So this is real canvas sheets right here, right? Cotton cloth canvas sheets. I really am excited to try this out. It says it's triple primed, but I might just sew it again just to make it a little bit harder. But this is kind of like uh, doing a stretched canvas, honestly. So these are 9 by 12 Again, my printer can't really do anything comfortably over 8x10, so I plan on uh, cutting these down from my printer so that I can scan these in easily and use them on some of my Society6 products. Just the smaller products, of course, not the larger ones because I'm working so small, but I'm sure they'll translate well to the small items. And one other thing I picked up today, this beautiful, beautiful gouache watercolor set, okay? So this is... The Kuretake Gansai Tambi gouache watercolor set. Okay, I say gouache watercolor because 
They say that you can use this as a gouache and you can go ahead and water it down for a watercolor. So just take a look at the colors in here. It comes in a pan. I love pan colors. I usually don't ever get this nice of quality of gouache or watercolor. So this was beautiful. I really like looking at that little gloss on them. So very, very nice. So this is a set of 12 colors. These are typically the colors that I, I normally work with in my paintings. I do a lot of mixing, but I'm very excited just to see how pigmented these colors are. I'm going to do a little test swatch on a cheaper piece of watercolor paper just to see what it's like. But I'm actually, I want to put that in a separate video because I don't want this video to be way too long. But these are some things that I picked up. I believe this was on sale for $18.99. And it just comes with this really, really beautiful case. You know, when you're done with the watercolor a long time from now, you can use this box for something nice. All right. So that's all I have for you guys today. Please like and subscribe. And if you want reviews on certain products, please just let me know. I have tons and tons of products. I have a ton of King Art products, which I plan on doing a review for soon. If you're thinking about buying King Art, but you don't know about the quality, um, I've been able to purchase it pretty, pretty cheap, and I uh, have been happy with a lot of their products. All right, so you guys have a good day, and peace.